let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about mini split heat pumps. I know, I know, most mini split heat pumps only heat to when it's minus 20 degrees outside or warmer before they shut down. In this video, we're going to fix that so you can heat with a mini split heat pump in minus 40 or colder and cut your energy bill in half. So how do we get an off the shelf mini split heat pump to work in minus 40 degrees? Geothermal air tubes, that's how. Okay, okay, before you get all worked up about a $30,000 geothermal heating system, this is Simple Tech. Yep, I'm gonna show you how to use a mini split heat pump with a low grade forced air geothermal system for a fraction of the cost of buying and installing the normal geothermal liquid heat pump systems you're used to hearing about. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. Now I'm not gonna bug you to hit the like and subscribe button for my benefit. I'm gonna tell you to hit the like and subscribe button because it tells YouTube that this is the kind of content you wanna see more of. So unless you wanna see more Kardashian crap, you gotta tell YouTube to send you more content like this by hitting like and subscribe. It's time for you to take control of the algorithm. What on earth tube am I talking about here? For this system, I use a geothermal air tube with a mini split heat pump. Both are proven technologies. The reason to put them together first and foremost is cost. Both upfront installation cost and ongoing operating cost. First, a geothermal air tube mini split heat pump will cost about a third the price of a liquid traditional geothermal heat pump installation. And you can do most of the installation yourself with little to no experience. Second, the operating cost. A mini split air tube geothermal heat pump will lower your electricity usage to heat your home over a regular mini split heat pump by up to half in most circumstances and three to five times that of heating your home by baseboard or forced air electric. So how do we do this magical upgrade? I'm going to assume you have a mini split system. If not, it's easy to buy one and get it installed. You may need an electrician, but it's only a few hours of work to hook it all up. Total pro cost is probably in the three to $6,000 range for this part of the installation, depending upon which system you choose. To do this, you're gonna need a large lot. I'm guessing a third to a half an acre lot with a large yard at minimum that you can dig up. This isn't gonna work in a high rise apartment building, sorry. About 115 out from the mini split in a straight line would be enough. You're going to need to go down about 6 to 10 feet deep, depending upon where you live and the ground temperatures. We'll talk more about that later. Next is materials. Over and above the cost of the mini split heat pump system itself, there's three main things you need to buy to make a geothermal mini split heat pump work. Number one several 250 foot lengths of six inch corrugated tube, solid unbroken tube, do not patch together shorter ones. You're gonna need two to six of these depending on how big your heat pump is. No drain holes in the tube, please. Number two, four to six, six inch vent fans. These don't use much power, but you're gonna need one at each end of the opening of the corrugated tubes you use. And number three, an insulated box, big enough to cover the mini split heat pump and have lots of room for airflow inside. This is just some framing, plywood, insulation, and screws or nails. Maybe some hinges for a door so you can service it a lot easier. Okay, there's gonna be a few other odds and ends, but that's the bulk of it. Yes, I know also of a solar boosted geothermal air tube heat system as well, but that's for another video some other time. So here's the theory of how this all works. A mini split heat pump uses the outside air to multiply heat and takes that energy. It does the reverse for cooling. The base heat the system uses is the air outside. That's why all mini split heat pumps have a large fan on them on the outside unit. Most affordable mini splits are limited in heating to about minus 20 degrees outside. 
Some units a little more, some a little less, depending on the brand name. They don't work well or at all beyond minus 20 degrees Celsius. But what they don't tell you is a heat pump will also use a lot more energy to heat a room when it's minus 20 degrees outside versus when it's 5 degrees outside. This hack will not only let you use your mini split heat pump in the coldest weather, but it's going to cut your electricity bill to operate the heat pump by half or more, as well as cut your mini split air conditioning bill by half or more in the summer. Does this sound too good to be true? Let me explain how. The corrugated tubes that are set in the ground 6 to 10 feet down, with duct fans on each end pushing air through them, pushes that air through the ground and picks up the heat or coolness of the ground. That air is forced into the insulated box containing the mini split heat pump, changing the outside air the mini split heat pump would have used to air warmed by the ground. The mini split heat pump is now working from plus five degree air from the ground warmed through the corrugated tubes, not colder outside air. That means the geo-warmed air only costs the electricity to push the air through the corrugated tubes. And duct fans are often about 50 watts, meaning six duct fans use only about 300 watts of electricity. That's three old school light bulbs. 300 watts to have your mini split heat pump work from five degrees Celsius versus minus 40 is a huge difference. And it takes a lot more than 300 watts to make up a 45 degrees Celsius difference for a mini split heat pump. This is geothermal warmed air, and it'll work all winter and all summer like other geothermal systems do, but for a fraction of the energy usage of electric heating or air conditioning. Okay, I agree the liquid geothermal heating and cooling systems you know about is more efficient, but most of these systems installed are in the $25,000 to $35,000 price range. If you don't have that kind of money and you have a large yard and an existing mini split air heat pump or want to install this system from scratch, you will save tens of thousands of dollars up front. And I'm betting the liquid heat pump system will be maybe 15 to 20% better on energy at best than a geothermal air tube mini split heat pump system. Also, if you're looking to heat and cool with solar, the geothermal boosted mini split heat pump is much more energy friendly than just a mini split alone or an air conditioner. And that means less solar panels and batteries are required to run it, thus less cost. Many populated places in Canada and the USA as well as Europe and around the world have 10 to 15 degrees Celsius ground temperatures eight feet down year round. This leads itself perfectly to the geothermal mini split heat pump for heating. But what about super hot areas? This system relies mostly on ground temperatures. Say you live in Mexico, where you often get 35 to 40 degrees Celsius temperatures outside during the day. Yes, a mini split air heat pump will work by itself, but once again, it uses a lot more energy than if you add geothermal component. If your ground temperatures are 20 degrees, eight feet down, then you have a difference of 15 to 20 degrees to the hot air outside. Once again, it's about the temperature difference. A geothermal assisted mini split heat pump, even in a hot area can, if set up properly, drop your electricity usage by up to half on hot days. Depending on what you pay for electricity, that can be huge. And if you make your own electricity, then it means less solar panels and fewer batteries, and that's the real cost, to get the same result, which is also massive savings. So what's sweet is if you get any cold temperatures, Heating from the ground at minus 20 and not the cold outside as well works incredibly easy. The biggest expense to a geo-assisted mini split heat pump would be the excavation. If you have access to heavy equipment or an excavator, then this is absolutely the way to go. But if you have to rent or hire heavy equipment, it can get a little expensive. Installing a system means renting a mid-sized excavator and that can cost 2,000 to 4,000 bucks a week or hiring a professional, which adds about $1,000 to what I just quoted. The corrugated tubes aren't ugly expensive in, in themselves. Maybe 350 bucks for 250 feet. Do not splice them together, get full runs. Corrugated tubes never splice together well long-term when underground. 
Good duck fans run about 50 to 100 bucks each. A few odds and ends plus an insulated box and that's it. Plus you have to add the mini split heat pump and remotes inside your home. But this is way, way less, like one quarter the price of any installed geothermal system we're all used to thinking about. And this works. If you need a working example, look up Russ Finch and his geothermal mini split air tube system that's been working for over two decades now doing exactly this. So that's how you turn a mini split heat pump into a geothermal assisted air tube heat pump that uses way less electricity and can actually work in minus 40 degree or colder weather. Good luck and let me know in the comments what you think. Stay tuned on Simple Tech for the next video on solar boosted geothermal air tube systems for both houses, garages and greenhouses. I hope to see you in the next video.